39 people, one of the biggest miscarriages of justice mm. um, this country's ever seen, have cleared their reputations. And they were locked up and their lives were ruined and their reputations were destroyed because the post office said, you're stealing at the end of the day from your machines. And they weren't. It was a classic... The computer had got it wrong. It was a faulty IT system. And for nearly 10 years, mm. the post office continued to say, no, no, the computer says, yes, mm -hmm. you're guilty. I mean, you know, it was, it was that feeble. Mm. Um, and also people were told that they were the only people who had done this. Yeah. yeah. They weren't told that there was... Yeah. Lot, dozens or hundreds of other people. And even so, somebody in the post office might have said, how is it that a disproportionate amount of dishonest people come and work for the post office? Because the fact the company, the post office, chief is X, were the only ones that knew how many there were. And you say 39, but there are a lot more cases still to come. Yeah. Yes, no, no, I mean, it was 39 acquittals. Yeah. Um, but there, the case action was about 500. Yeah. But you should take a bow because Private Eye was the magazine for the last 10 years that's been pushing yeah. this story, haven't you? Been yeah. investigating it. it we, we have banged on about it quite a lot. But, you know, Computer Weekly started it off mm. and there was a good BBC programme called Inside Out South, which um, should take a bow. Yeah. So, and, and some brilliant, obviously, postmasters themselves yeah. um, saying, I don't think I should have been locked up. And why did no one believe us for this amount of time? This is useless government IT. The same firm, Fujitsu, did the NHS IT system, which lost £12 billion. Pounds. Yes, the Public Accounts Committee described their handling of the NHS patients' details as the worst contracting fiasco in the history of the public sector. <laughs> that was before Test and Trace. Yeah. Fujitsu, obviously, is the, is the company. Horizon was the system. Yeah. Um, when did Fujitsu become aware that the Horizon system they had developed was, was faulty? Ten years ago. According to Computer Weekly, a senior software developer who worked at Fujitsu alleged that the system should never have been launched and that bosses at Fujitsu knew this. Everybody in the building, by the time I got there in 2001, knew it was a bag of shit. <laughs> it had gone through the test labs God knows how many times, and the testers were raising bugs by the thousand.